All right. Well, <clears throat> welcome back, dear readers, to the world of Moss. This is going to be book two. Because we ended we remember up finishing you, book one. Dear reader, oh, hello. Even if you do not remember us. You see, this is no ordinary book. Within these pages lives a hero, one who could determine all our fates. And this is uh, the PSVR 2, in case you can't tell. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping that because I copied my Book 1 data to my PS5, that maybe we'll be able to start off with the sword and armor that I got in the first one. But uh, we'll find out. <clears throat> she needs a reader who knows just how important they truly are. <clears throat> Shall we begin? Why not? Oh. Hmm. Every war in Moss begins and ends with the Five Glass. And on the Cinder Night, the Arcane tried to take them all. Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, sacrificed everything that night to ensure the King's Glass was safe. The Sprites, too, had their own glass to protect, and their great champion did so until his final breath. The story of his glass would resume much later when young <laughs> Quill of the Clearing, out on one this. of her humble adventures, found what the Sprite Champion concealed in death. When she showed her uncle Argus the green glass, everything changed. He understood well the gravity of her find, and he rushed quickly off ran to, see to a squirrel. <laughs> I still love that. <laughs> But Argus was captured by the Arcane, and so the starving Aduran came to Quill with a promise to lead her to her uncle. Quill knew of starvings only from campfire tales of magic and mischief. Yet still, she decided to follow. Quill knew her uncle needed her, but not just her. You see, Quill was bonded by the glass to a reader. A soul whose gifts proved the perfect complement to the young hero. <laughs> Together, they were twofold. They embarked on a perilous journey. The Arcane's pursuit was relentless, and Quill barely survived. A Durin, who had become a friend of sorts, was not as fortunate, ending up in the jaws of Sarfog. Sarfog was the Arcane's most ruthless general, and at the very gates of the castle seized on that cinder night, the two-fold heroes <coughs> oh, slayed the monstrous <coughs> serpent and rescued Argus from captivity. But the Arcane do not end with Sarfog. The one who leads them will not relent until the five glass are in their clutches. Mm. And that will unravel this world. Our fate rests with Quill. She needs a true partner by her side. And we hope that is you, dear reader. You got it. So let us begin at the castle, where Quill and her uncle must brave the Arcane to retrieve the King's Glass, still hidden away after all these years. Or so they hope. Woo! Bright light! <clears throat> no, I'm not Gizmo. Okay, and I remember this. Hey, Adurin. Oh. Hi. Space. You are still here? Yes. Then you should have this. Squeeze me. Here. You can thank me later. 
Okay. Quill oh, searched hi, Quill. the castle entrance for her uncle's sword. He'd insisted they'd never reach the king's glass without it. Quill was shocked to find it hiding in plain sight. Yep. She must have missed it last time around. After all, she'd been a bit preoccupied. Hi. Together, we can accomplish anything, said Quill, looking up to her reader. I couldn't have defeated this monster without you. Thank you for being here with me. You got it. She left Uncle Argus alone for too long. He could be in grave danger. Well, let me check real quick. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I'm not seeing the sword or the armor there. That's a little annoying. Bearings there. They had to hurry. Hello. Poor uncle was too injured to defend himself should the arcane find him again. For any scrolls to do. Hello, picture. Okay, can't even go up there anyway. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what's up? Ah, 
there's a scroll. Okay. Okay, so that's not letting us do anything there. Oh, can I go over here? I guess I can. Hey. So yeah, we gotta go around the other way for that. Alright, so we can't bring that up there. Oh, I see. We can bring it all the way over here. Oh wait, I wonder. Can I carry her on top now? Sure enough. <laughs> okay, and a hook. Okay. Number one. Okay, what happens here? Find him safe. You found my sword. You wouldn't believe where it was. You know, I never realized just how huge Sarpa was. Shh, lower your voice, Quill. We're not safe. He could be anywhere. <laughs> the king's glass hides beneath the throne. We must move quickly and quietly. leader are they still here yes uncle they're right by my side oh we're too bold. Hi. we aren't afraid of the arcane i see he said with a hint of pride <laughs> <laughs> now keep your ears open and your sword ready we must get to the throne We got a lot of stuff to break in here first. <clears throat> no sign of the arcane here. That's what worries me. Uh -oh. Look out. Whoa. Ow. I can't see you. 
But I know you're up there, Reader. Please. She's in your hands now. You got it. didn't understand. He was our family. He'd always come first. But she knew better than to argue. Okay, oh, I see a scroll up there. Okay. The battle begins. So that's that. Sorry about that.
Okay, let's try this out. Oh, okay, I see. Ha-ha! Yep, okay. <clears throat> do, do, do. Quill was awestruck. This was the that legendary room. throne room, the same room where her uncle was once knighted by the king. She called back to her uncle. I've waited years for this moment. By all that's good in this world, I hope it's still locked. This is that. Come down there. Whoa. Ha! The fools never figured it out. He snickered. Uncle Argus then turned to Quill with a wink and a smirk and plunged his blade into the throne. His sword was the key. Uh. But the triumph soon faded as they descended into the eerie quietude of the secret chamber. Please be safe. Her uncle pleaded under his breath with an air of unease Quill had never heard before. A voice barked back. I'd retreat if I were you. Dark, dark magic afoot here. One whip of my wand and a swarm of undead wasps will scour you alive. <laughs> Her uncle laughed. <laughs> Barnard, don't tell me all this time alone has you communing with the dead. I... I don't have undead wasps. Total bluff. Total <laughs> bluff. <laughs> My dear August, I can't believe it's really you. I'm so sorry, fretted her uncle. I tried to get back to you so many times. I just couldn't kill that vicious snake. Their long-awaited embrace was cut short. August! Barnard panicked. I feel the reader's presence! Huh. The usurper followed you in! No, Barnard! This is Quill, my next of kin and a twofold champion. They slayed Sarfog. Holy whiskers on a weasel! Barnard was stunned. I... Oh, 
Oh my. Then there's much to discuss. Mugwump tea, anyone? Mugwort or mugwump? Not quite sure what you said there. <laughs> Barnard spent hours recounting his years in hiding, protecting the king's glass from the arcane. And with Sarfarg dead, that winged tyrant will tear this castle apart. He knows one glass is here. <clears throat> now two? This is bad. Very bad. Not if Quill gets all five glass first, said her uncle with a grin. Well. Sargus, Barnard replied. Even a twofold cannot take on their army. Not with a ward and forging screechers and scorchers and Arthur knows what. Hogwash, Uncle Argus retorted. Quill can handle that bloated behemoth after she rallies the Sprite army. Don't you see? Once we join all the glass, there will be no arcane. Even Vader will see it our way. She must. We could unwrite them all, Barnard mused. But Argy, the truth states the glass must remain separate. Truce be damned. We need the remaining glass to restore peace. But first, Quill must rally the sprites. It's the only way. 